Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host, Robert. All right, NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, Kubota Tractor 200, tonight at Kansas Speedway. 201 miles, 134 laps, three stages, 30, 30, and 74. They got four sets of tires to cover that. That is the end of the round of 10. We eliminate two drivers from the playoffs after these 200 laps, 200 miles, 134 laps. Going to be some fun intermediate race in the Kansas Speedway. The last seven races, more than five cautions one time. So we'll have about five cautions. So that means the two stages and about three cautions for other issues. So that's not a lot of time to strategize. Not a lot of time to try to gain on pit road. It's all going to be done on the track. The last three races, the Kansas winner qualified between 8th and 13th. So you don't necessarily have to have a lights out lap in qualifying but you still need to qualify in the top part of the field, get a good pit stall, and our pit stall picks come from last week, and still have speed on this track. The last five Kansas races, Nick Sanchez averaged finish 7.0, two races, Grand Finger 7.6, former winner here, Corey Heim 9.4, and a winner here, Christian Eckes 9.8, and a winner. Jake Garcia average finish 12.0. Could he get his first career win and continue that playoff spoiler of non-playoff drivers winning? Taylor Gray 12.6 average finish. T Tyler Ingram 13.8. Stuart Friesen 14.0. Daniel Dye 15.0. Matt Crafton 15.6. Now if you look at just the intermediate races, I'm talking like the Kansas, the Vegas, Texas, Charlotte. The Truck Series had four of those so far in 2024. Corey Heim. 2.0 and a win average finish. Caden Honeycutt in two races, 5.5. Could he play the spoiler? Could he get his first career win? He is driving a truck that has won before. He's driving 45 for Allen East, what Carson Hosevar took to the championship four in 2023. Christian Eckes average finish, 5.75. Nick Sanchez, 6.75 and a win. We know he runs well at Texas. Texas and Kansas are similar. So we know that team could run well here. We know he's looking for a good run because he is moving up to the Xfinity Series in 2025. Taylor Gray, 12.5. Tanner Gray, 13.0. Grandin Finger, 13.25. Jake Garcia, 12.0. Raja Karu, 13.3. And Stuart Friesen, 14.5. Now, if we look at those five Kansas races, um, average running position. So this is not the way they finish necessarily. You know, they could have been running up front, gotten an issue, kind of like Nick, Nick Sanchez did at Texas a couple years ago. He was leading most of the race, dominated the race, got caught up in the late, late race accident. His finish wasn't great, but his average running position was. So on those five Kansas races, average running position, Corey Heim, 5.41. Nick Sanchez, 7.43. Christian Eck is 8.21. Those are the big three in the truck series this year. And those are the big three that run well in intermediates. Two of those three are moving up to Xfinity next year. Nick Sanchez and Christian Eck is. So they both, they all want a great run here in the truck series. Grand Infinger 11.24. Ben Rhodes 11.55. Taylor Gray 11.62. Tanner Gray 13.15. Tyler Ankrum, 14.03. Ty Majeski, 14.29. Jake Garcia, 14.75. This is the 29th Craftsman Truck Series race at Kansas Speedway. It is the end of round one of the playoffs. We're going to go end of round 10, so we'll eliminate two drivers as we move on to Talladega, Homestead, and Martinsville. What a round of playoffs those are going to be. So far, this round of the playoffs, we've seen Chris Eckes get two top fives. We've seen Nick Sanchez get two top fives. Our defending champion, Ben Rhodes, just struggled uh, at 27th last week. We had Young Ling Riggs win back-to-back -back races there at Milwaukee and Bristol. Now, those, and you got to think, though, if you can go back to two races before that, Ling Riggs, IRP fifth, Richmond fifth, all short tracks. The last intermediate track, would have been Nashville, which is 1.3 miles. He finished 25th. Um, at Gateway, he finished 5th, which is a 1.25 mile track. Kind of runs like a short track, though. So can he go for three straight? Anything's possible. So as we look at the points right now, 
Uh, Christian Eckes plus 25. He's moved on to the next round. Corey Heim plus 80. And Nick Sanchez plus 63. They've all already clinched and moved on to the next round. The most points you can gain in a single race is 59. All right, Roger Car or Ty, Je Ty Majeski sitting fourth, plus 58. He should be able to clinch by the, at least the end of the first stage, if not by the end of the second stage. All right, Roger Cruz, plus 35. Not safe, but not in the weeds. Taylor Ankrum, plus 25. I'm not safe at all with that. T Taylor Gray, plus 23. Definitely not safe with that. Grand Infinger, plus 7. Daniel Dye, minus 7. Ben Rhodes, minus 12. Mm -mm. Super tight. Super interesting. Canada, two-time defending champion Ben Rhodes. Make up 12 points to the cut and move on. Can young know, Daniel Dye, who is last season in the truck series, he's moving on the Xfinity next year. Can he move on? Grand Infinger, what an amazing race he, year he's had. Um, that, that, that nine team, can they move on? Young Taylor Gray. We know more than likely his future is Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota. Can he hang in there with the plus 23? We don't know, but we'll find out after Kansas. 201 miles, 134 laps. The Kubota Tractor 200 will tell us who the eight drivers going into next week will report continue running for their championship hopes. The four picks are Corey Heim, Nick Sanchez, Christian Eckes, and Green Enfinger. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spooky day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports content.